and a happy Monday to you. Uh, my name is Stick. This is number four. I can't believe we're already up to the fourth video. And just pretty much what I use to be happy in life. Uh, if you just pick it up and this is your first video watching, over the course of my life, I've had a lot of people ask me why I'm always so happy, how I maintain this great attitude, and, you know, bad things happen to me and I'm still happy, <laughs> still good to go. And uh, so I just wanted to start this video series and kind of just talk to you about the tricks I use that help keep me happy. Now, this isn't a playbook that everybody, everything is going to work for them. These are just little things that I do throughout the course of my life that I've done that help me be happy. Um, and, you know, first we talked about understanding that bad things are going to happen. That's one very important thing. Um, second, we talk about eliminating negativity from your life. Even if it means people you love, you got to get rid of those people. Um, over the weekend, I asked you to give random high fives to people because that's one thing that I think makes me happy is to make other people smile and to just put myself out there and embarrass myself because sometimes people look at you funny and it's okay. You, you don't take yourself so seriously. Uh, so the fourth thing I wanted to talk about I actually experienced this yesterday when I was flying back from Arizona. I went to surprise my mom and I had a little uh, conference down there with Kendra Hall. She uh, Shout out to Kendra Hall for uh, doing their storytelling conference. Uh, but either way, one of the things that I've noticed, and this is something that I work on when I'm driving, but I was on a plane yesterday and I thought a lot of people could get a tip from this. And that is, look for moments that you think are inconveniences and understand that that's time to yourself. Um, you know, we were stuck on the tarmac for an hour and a half. <laughs> so as you know, if you're ever on a plane, being stuck there for an hour and a half can be frustrating. It can be annoying, uh, especially when the people next to you are frustrating and annoying. Uh, but what I like to do is when I'm out of control like that, there's nothing I can do to make the plane go faster. There's nothing I can do. I can't get off the plane. I just like to acknowledge that this is time that I can use to focus on myself. It's extra free time that I was given because I'm not going to get it back. Uh, if I'm on the plane for an hour and a half, I might as well use that time to work on myself. Think about what I want to talk about in my next video. Um, you know, all types of things that you can do. The time I normally use it is in traffic. If you live in southeast Michigan like I do or anywhere in the country that has heavy traffic, you understand that sometimes you're just stuck. You can't control where you're going. And I see a lot of people getting frustrated. I see people shaking the wheel, yelling at the people in front of them, flipping off the guy that they just cut off, trying to get into traffic. And it's all that stuff is just stressing you out, man. Look at it. it turned my face red just acting like it. So next time that you're caught in one of those situations, I want you to take a deep breath, understand that, hey, you know what? Time is out of my control right now. But what's in my control is how I'm going to use this time. And uh, you can either use that time to relax. Sometimes I, you know, do my breathing exercises. Like, all right, I'm stuck in traffic. Just kind of sit here, breathe. And it makes traffic go by so much faster. And that's what I did when I was on the plane, actually. The guy next to me was like, every 10 minutes, look at this, looking around the people in front of us, making sure the stewardess is like, what do you think the stewardess is going to do? She can't de-ice the plane. She can't make the pilot take off. Um, so really, whenever you're stuck in those situations, make sure that you use that time to focus on something good. Um, use it to text a friend that you haven't talked to in a while. Use it to write down notes or write a love letter to a girl that you talked to a long time ago or guy. Um, go on your Facebook, go in your phone, clean up all the pictures that you don't want to save. There's so much good use of that time when you're not in control of it you should take advantage of it and it'll make your life so much easier because when i look over and see the guys going nuts like oh well, honk honk why aren't we going fast it's it's comical to me you guys look like assholes i just want to let you know that when you're freaking out in the car i'm laughing at you which probably pisses you off even more but <laughs> so that's fine with me too because uh, your mindset isn't right. You're, you're not looking at the opportunity ahead of you. You're looking at the obstacles in front of you. And that's, you know, I don't want to get too deep, but that's kind of a metaphor for life. Like, there's going to be situations where you get bogged down, where parts of your life isn't going as fast as you want, or you're just stuck. And use that time. 
you know, enjoy the moment that you're in. And that, to me, that's very, very important. And like I said, you know, we can evolve it into the metaphor for life, you know. A lot of times I was guilty of this, um, never happy where I was at, always working towards my goal. And if I wasn't at my goal, I wasn't happy. And it kind of robs some moments of my life that I probably could have valued a lot more by appreciating that moment instead of looking forward to the next moment. Because if you're always looking forward to the next moment, you're never gonna enjoy this moment. And that's something I learned, um, and it's something I try to apply every day. So it's snowing like crazy here in Michigan today. Uh, if you watch this before you get stuck in rush hour traffic, um, you're gonna deal with a bunch of people, lots of time on the road today. Just use this time. Don't get frustrated with people. Uh, don't don't get angry. If someone wants to squeeze in and cut you off, let them. It, it absolutely affects your day this much if you let someone in front of you on a car. Um, they can freak out. You can, you can be angry at them all you want for cutting you off, but why? Why waste your energy on someone you're never gonna confront, you're never gonna change, and honestly, it may have helped your day if you think about it you know there's two ways to look at it oh well you know now I'm a car length behind who knows what's gonna happen but you could also look at it now I'm a car length behind just think if something happens like someone skids off the road and hits the car in front of you well now that asshole just took a bullet for you essentially because he need to get in there he need to get in that spot so you know try to think about things like that just because something is going not the way you want it it may be saving you from something down the road so if someone cuts you off uh, if you're on the tarmac for an hour and a half don't be the guy next to me bothering the stewardess annoying me looking at your watch <laughs> like I just want to turn the guy and be like fella we're not going anywhere call your wife tell her you love her say hey babe I'm on the tarmac right now I got an hour and a half and I was thinking about you or, you know, if you are a salesperson, call a client and say, hey, you know what? I'm stuck right now. I was thinking of you. Let's work out this deal. There's always use for that time that you don't have control of. And make sure that you make the best possible use of it. Um, and that's, that's really the video number four that I wanted to talk about. So I think if over the course of these four videos, if you just start implementing these little things into your life, you'll you'll instantly start to see some gratification. Uh, low power. Sorry about that. I had to click the low power button. Um, by the way, I record these date like on the day, and then I straight upload them from my phone. So if you ever see it go low power, that's because I didn't charge my phone today. Um, so yeah, that's that's the message I want to send for number four. Um, hopefully your high five challenge went well. 